Vitel S179 basic operation. Make sure proper eye protection is worn during the following procedures. Tools needed. Vitel S179 splicer. Vitel S326 cleaver. Fixed or removable holders. S211 fiber stripper. 250 micron or 900 micron coated fiber. Splice sleeves fiber prep fluid, and wipes. Turn splicer on. Push and hold power key for about one second to turn on. Select the fusion and heater programs for the fiber and protection sleeve that you are using. To select the proper fusion program, from the ready screen, tap the fusion program area on the touch screen, or press the menu key and select fusion program menu. Select the proper program by pressing the up and down arrow keys. Tap the fusion program to select the program. A fusion program can also be selected from the list of recently used programs, program group, or by word searching. To select the proper heater program from the ready screen, tap the heater program area on the touch screen or press the menu key and select the heater program menu. Select the proper program by pressing the up and down arrow keys. Tap the heater program to install the program. Fiber preparation. Using removable holders. Place protection sleeve over the right or left fiber. Make sure to use the appropriate fiber holder according to the diameter of the fiber coating. If you are using 900 micron fiber coating, strip approximately 30 millimeters of 900 micron and 250 micron coating from the end of the fiber, leaving bare glass. Load fiber in a removable holder with the coating edge even with the end of the holder. Fiber curl facing down. You can also put fiber into the holder, leaving approximately 30 millimeters of 900 micron and 250 micron coating from the end of the removable holder and strip the 900 micron and 250 micron coating from the fiber, leaving bare glass. Strip as close to the end of the holder as possible. If you are using 250 micron fiber coating, strip approximately 30 millimeters of 250 micron coating from the end of the fiber, leaving bare glass. Load fiber into removable holder with the coating edge even with the end of the holder, fiber curl facing down. You can also put fiber into the holder leaving approximately 30 millimeters of 250 micron coating from the end of the removable holder and strip the 250 micron coating from the fiber leaving bare glass. Strip as close to the end of the fiber holder as possible. Wipe the bare fiber with a lint free wipe soaked with fiber prep fluid. Make sure that the single fiber adapter is not installed in the cleaver. Open the fiber cleaver and load the removable holder with the fiber into the cleaver and cleave the fiber. Make sure that the holder is referenced correctly in the cleaver. Open fusion splicer windshield. Remove the removable holder with the cleaved fiber from the cleaver and immediately place into the fusion splicer. Using tight or fix holders. Place protection sleeve over right or left fiber. If you are using 900 micron fiber coating, strip approximately 30 millimeters of 900 micron and 250 micron coating from the end of the fiber, leaving bare glass. If you are using 250 micron fiber coating, strip approximately 30 millimeters of 250 micron coating from the end of the fiber, leaving bare glass. Wipe the bare fiber with a lint-free wipe soaked with fiber prep fluid. Open the fiber cleaver. Place fiber onto the single fiber adapter and cleave to 10 millimeters. Open fusion splicer windshield. Open the lids on the tight holders. Remove cleave fiber from the cleaver and immediately place into the fusion splicer tight holder. Align fiber so the tip of the fiber is close to the center without going over center and that the fiber is aligned in the V-groove. Secure fiber position by closing the tight holder lid. 
Repeat the procedure on the remaining fiber. Arc check. Fibers melt or fuse at different temperatures. It is necessary to adjust the arc power in order to ensure optimum splicing results. As well, electro wear, environmental conditions, temperature, humidity, altitude can affect the splicing results. The arc check should be performed as follows. At the beginning of daily operation, when the environmental condition has changed considerably, after replacing or cleaning electrodes, when splice errors occur continuously. Open the windshield and load fibers. Ensure that the fibers are properly stripped, clean, and cleave. Fiber preparation was covered in the previous section of this video. Close the windshield. Press the menu key on the control panel or touchscreen. Tap arc check in the menu screen. The S179 Fusion Splicer automatically feeds the fibers and discharges an arc. During the arc discharge, the fiber feeding motors of the S179 Fusion Splicer remain idle, preventing the fiber ends from budding. As a result, the fiber ends melt back. The arc check function inspects how far the fibers melt back and the centered position of the fiber. If the arc check results are good, the message result OK is displayed in the pop-up window. Press continue or return key to return to the menu screen. If the results are negative, result NG is displayed. Press continue or return key and the machine will automatically adjust the arc power and then return to the menu screen. If the result is NG, repeat the arc check until the new values are acceptable. It is necessary to remove the fibers and prepare them again with a new cleave. If unsatisfactory results are retained, after four arc check attempts, inspect the electrodes for wear or damage and replace them if necessary. If the arc check result setting on the data output is on, detailed arc check data is shown after the arc check. If the data output is set to on, the machine will not automatically adjust the arc power. To change the arc power, press the return key or touch optimize. If you do not want to change, press the back key or touch the cancel icon. Splicing with the Fitel S179 Fusion Splicer. After preparing the fibers as shown in the previous sections, protection sleeve installed, fiber stripped, clean and cleaved. Open the windshield. Load fibers into the Fusion Splicer. Close the windshield. Ensure that the ready screen is displayed on the monitor. Press the green star key on the control panel or touch panel to splice the fibers. The right and left fiber ends appear on the LCD monitor. A cleaning arc is discharged to clean the fiber ends. The fibers are set with a gap of about 20 microns between the ends. The screens are zoomed in. The fibers are inspected for axis offset and cleave condition. The cores of the fibers are aligned on the X and Y view screens. The electrodes discharge. The splice is inspected. The splice loss is estimated and displayed on the LCD. Raise the heater cover before removing the fiber. Open the windshield. A tension test is performed on the fibers. A buzzer beeps once when the tension test is completed. Open the lid of both fiber holders. Remove the splice fiber pulling slightly so that the fiber is taut. Handle the splice fiber carefully. Do not twist the fiber. Slide the protection sleeve over the splice. Center the sleeve over the splice. Place the splice fiber in the heater. Right side first. Ensure that the splice protection sleeve rests in the middle of the section of the heater and that the stainless steel rod in the sleeve faces down. Keep the fiber taut with the left hand. Lower the splice fiber to force the left heater clamp to close. Close the heater cover. When the fiber is set and the left clamp is shut, 
the heat LED turns on red and the heating starts automatically. When auto start for heater setting is off, press the yellow heater button on the control panel or touch screen to activate the heater. The heating process is displayed in the LCD monitor with status icon. When the heating and cooling operations are completed, a beep sound is heard. Remove the fiber from the heater and inspect the splice protection sleeve.